Russia has developed a new system to detect Ukrainian drone operators, Russian state media reported, as the race to produce more effective battlefield drones heats up, Newsweek reports. The Cobra system looks outwardly like a game console, but has the ability to track Ukrainian drone operators and pinpoint their coordinates on a map in real time. The system's developer, named only as Stanislav, told Russian state news agency RIA Novosti. The Cobra is already in testing and will then head for experimental combat operation on the battlefields of Ukraine, the news agency reported. The plan is for the system to then be mass-produced, according to RIA. The nearly two and a half years of full-scale war in Ukraine has spurred unprecedented drone innovation, with both Moscow and Kiev battling it out with uncrewed vehicles in the air, on land and in the waters of the Black Sea. Ukraine has used unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs in many different roles along the front lines. The airborne drones cover nearly every aspect of combat, from helping out with reconnaissance to suicide drone strikes and guiding artillery fire. Russia has also plugged away with its drone programs. Moscow and Kiev are thought to burn through hundreds of drones each day. Upgrades are constant and can include increasing the range of UAVs, the accuracy of strikes, how silent they are when approaching a target, being able to operate better during nighttime missions or being resistant to jamming efforts by the enemy. Kyiv's first-person view FPV drones have become infamous for providing dramatic footage of the conflict while they help coordinate artillery strikes or careen into Russian armored vehicles. Mykhailo Fedorov, Kyiv's Minister of Digital Transformation, heading up Ukraine's drone efforts against Russia, told Newsweek in December that they work sometimes even more efficiently than artillery. FPV drones are indeed a tech revolution, even though the tech itself is quite easy. But it turned out to be very efficient, Fedorov added. Ukraine's drone operators are one of the highest priority targets on the front, RIA reported, adding the Ukrainian teams piloting the aerial drone fleet are extremely difficult for Russian forces to detect. For rockets struck near Ain al-Assad Air Base in Iraq, which houses U.S. troops, but there were no reported injuries, and there was no damage to the base. Fox News has learned. A U.S. defense official told Fox News none of the rockets landed inside the base. The attack comes just days after U.S. and Iraqi officials met at a Pentagon summit to discuss when the coalition against ISIS in Iraq could end and transition to a bilateral security relationship with some U.S. troops likely remaining. Iraqi source, who was speaking on condition of anonymity, confirmed that two rockets hit the Ain al-Assad military base. However, there are still no reports about the casualties and damages caused by the rocket attack. No groups have claimed responsibility for the attack as of yet. The attack came two days after a military summit in Washington where Iraqi and U.S. officials discussed winding down the coalition's work a decade after it was formed to fight Islamic State as it stormed across Iraq and Syria. No major announcement was made at the end of the talks, though U.S. and Iraqi sources say an announcement that it will begin to gradually wind down is likely in the coming weeks. Iran-aligned Iraqi political and military factions have pressured the country's government to quickly draw down the coalition's work and say they want all 2,500 troops deployed by the country's one-time occupier to leave. Washington and the Iraqi government say they want to transition to a bilateral security relationship that would likely see some troops remain in an advisory role. Resistance groups based in Iraq have repeatedly hit U.S. bases on Iraqi and Syrian territories with missiles and drones over the past weeks in retaliation for the Israeli regime's crimes against Palestinians in Gaza. The groups are also outraged at the U.S. military presence in the region, which they see as a source of instability, as well as Washington's support for the Israeli regime in its ongoing war on Gaza. Mm. Надо уходить. Что-то железяку оттащить надо. Давай, давай. Вот эту. Слева которая. 